that, you know, sauce me a free credit. The way I, I did way more gym with JV than I ever could have in one middle school class. He shoots me a scorching look. I'm going to pretend you didn't just suggest that. Our summer school offers a program called Physical Education Equivalency, or PEE. -E. P? I echo. PEE. -E. He corrects me pointedly. It's for students who, for whatever reason, but my favorite, um, my favorite translation, so, I wrote this book a long time ago, not one of my more famous, it was called Liar, Liar, Pants on Fire. Right? So, check this out. When Liar, Liar, Pants on Fire was done in French, um, the book translated okay, but the title really didn't, you know, just, something like Liar, Liar, Pants on Fire, it's just an expression. You know what I mean by that? Like, if you say to somebody, Liar, Liar, Pants on Fire, like, unless you're talking to someone whose pants really do happen to be on fire, you don't mean exactly what you're saying, right? It's just an expression. But very hard to translate an expression since you're not saying what you mean to start. My translator told me to put Liar, Liar, Pants on Fire. Word for word, if in any other language, would be like calling the book, Teller of Untruths, Your Trousers Have Combusted. <laughs> <laughs> his first year teaching, all his training was PE. He had never taught creative writing in his life. So when it came to you know, creative writing, he just sort of, you know, okay, single day to write one story. Well, started working on it in class. Everybody was. Uh, I thought he, like, my story kind of <laughs> took off, started bringing it home, working on it at night, and this is my seventh grade English project, a book called This Can't Be Happening at McDonald's. Back then.